Welcome Aquarius and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that would like to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid, meaning this could be resonating for you as a past, a present, or a future situation. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure you're checking out the videos for your other placements, specifically your moon sign, rising, and venus signs. If, um, Let's see, if it does or it doesn't resonate. Sometimes adding those um, with your sun sign can actually help you um, receive more messages, guidance, or information about your situation. Like putting together the pieces of a larger puzzle, okay? The decks that I use, the um, link to my Etsy shop, everything you need is down below in the description box, including a timeless playlist for your zodiac sign. Right. <clears throat> your energy in regards to the situation. Ten of Pentacles. You can be married to this person or you're really focused on like your material gain, your success, your abundance, your home life, family, your person's energy. Six of Swords Travel. Okay, you know what I'm feeling? I feel like it's like you're distant from this person. Like this person may travel for work and like you're anxiously awaiting their return. Um, or there's some kind of plans about travel, about family. Who had a reading like this recently? Was it Aries or Scorpio? Something like some kind of family meeting or something like that. Regardless, I feel like you're waiting to connect with this person. Like you're very, like you're very focused on like your work, your pinnacles, your family, your children, your things you have to do. I also like have a side note for somebody outside of love. Somebody may get like a work opportunity that involves travel that may lead them to a lot of financial abundance um <clears throat> maybe like a longer commute but i think it's worth it okay just for somebody okay um let's see what's between you and this person this is going to give us more information what's between you and this person ace of cup you love them you love them and they love you there's love here this is new love some of you could be newly married or like you're planning on getting married with this person or you guys have talked about a life together. Um, there's deep emotions. They're like waiting for like the light at the end of the tunnel, waiting to see you, waiting to connect with you, waiting to travel to you. They're waiting for some kind of job or something to end, some kind of tra maybe travel documents. I've, I feel like this person like travels for work or something. Like, there's travel, like, distance. Like, there's some kind of opportunity that they're looking forward. It's like the light. They're, they're moving toward this opportunity. They're, they're waiting for, they're awaiting some kind of date. <clears throat> what are their thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions towards you? Their thoughts about you. Eight of Cups. They had to leave you behind. They feel distant from you. They feel emotional. Like, they're having to... to to walk away from you temporarily they don't feel like it's for the long term it hurts them it's emotional you know people talk about eight of cups and they're always like oh eight of cups they're walking away because they don't have any feelings anymore but cups represent emotions and these cups are in the upright <clears throat> there's there's love behind them their love is behind them they invested a lot of time and energy into this. So that's what they, they want to invest in. There's still love there. Ace of Cups here. But look at how this squirrel is actually holding a cup. One of them. And I, I don't know why. I feel like this is your communication. Like they still have this part of you. But they don't have it all. It, it's like I had, to, I had to leave behind your scents, your kisses, your embrace, your, you know, all these things. But all I have is just this text or this calls you know it's like just this to get me through because we're distant we're separated right now 
but it's not forever. Like, I'm going to come back. My cups are still upright. I'm going to come back. I'm waiting to reconnect with you, waiting to come back. They could have got taken away because of family, because of some kind of maybe the holidays or work. Their feelings for you. Knight of Wands, they are very anxious to come back around to you. This person's a traveler. You could be done with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Their intentions with you. King of Cups. And the actions you can expect from this person. The Wheel of Fortune. It's not over to the two of you. Under the deck is Three of Wands. Yearning, wishing, hoping, praying. With the Ten of Wands. And the Queen of Wands. And you know what's under that? The King of Wands. <clears throat> so yeah, strong soulmate energy. There's a very intense energy between you and this person. Now, the signs that I'm initially seeing here, we have strong fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you may have a child with this person. Or you want to have a child with this person. That's not for all of you, but that, for some of you that's relevant. Um, also have strong water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be any sign, though. Um, <clears throat> we have a little bit of earth and a little bit of air as well. Um, but I feel there's definitely a lot of intensity here to you and this person. You know, your connection feels very new. It's like even if you've been with this person for a while, they're still wild crazy passionate about you they still very much desire you and there's still love here that they have for you that you have for them they don't want to be apart from you that's not it's not it's, it feels like it's not their choice i don't know what you're going to say you're going to say well of course it's their choice everyone has a choice you know you can always get a new job or you can say no i don't want to take this but it's like it feels like it was outside of their hands and that's how they see it okay like i said i'm never going to justify anyone's negative actions behaviors etc the whole purpose of this is so that we understand your person their thoughts feelings intentions what why they may act a certain way or how they view the connection from their perspective <clears throat> What's between you is love, the Ace of Cups, a beginning in love. Both of you want it, both of you feel the same way. It's like research needs to be done. Potentially something needs to be expressed. Some kind of coming together, Three of Cups, celebration or victory. In their thoughts about you, what do they think about you, this connection with the Eight of Cups, they, they, they see that this is something they had to temporarily walk away from, but they did not leave it all behind. Like they took part of you with them they took one of the cups so it's like what they can hold on to you by like texting social media like they can communicate in this way that they can't physically be with you at this current time they're missing you they, they long for you they're thinking about you they're sad they're not happy eight of cups is not somebody who's jumping up and down overjoyed it's like they're emotional they had to leave behind their heart their their love They're longing for this next opportunity to see you again, to reconnect because they know that it's coming. This is not permanent. This is, they will be with you again. The Knight of Wands, it's like their feelings are very intense. It's like this strong impulse, this strong desire just to come rushing back in. Like they dream about, or they desire just being able to like burst open the door and you'd be like, I thought you weren't going to be back for another six months. and You know what I mean? It's like that. I don't know why I got somebody who's in the military. So it's for somebody, not for all, not for all of you, obviously, but for somebody that could be definitely a uh, possibility here. They're intense. This person's like an explorer. They, they like to travel. But it's like it's hard for them to be away from you. With the King of Cups, this person and their intentions, they, they want to be emotional they want to be strong they want to they want to be more in control of their emotions they want to be able to express themselves they they also want to make you feel very safe and very secure in this relationship you know i like this person's energy a lot you know unfortunately i do get a lot of negative readings and a lot of negative energies that come through with especially in, in general readings like this but 
this is not negative at all. This is somebody who very much loves you and very much misses you and you feel the exact same way. And so for some of you, you know, if you're watching this and going, well, that piece of shit douchebag, okay, well, then this is probably not your reading because I will 100% tell you when someone is a narcissistic piece of shit. I, I will straight up tell you. I don't see that. I, I, this is somebody who you don't want to be apart from. They don't want to be apart from you. It's like someone had to make money. They had to go to work. They had some kind of obligation. I don't feel like there's someone else involved. This is somebody who just wants to be with you. And they're longing, waiting to connect with you again. They feel like you're their destiny and eventually the wheel of fortune will turn back around and they'll have this chance to be with you again, to see you again. They're longing for this. Their thoughts, please. Yes, they're thinking about the future. Thinking about the, when they're going to be able to reconnect with you again and for that passionate new beginning, for that reconnect. They still desire you. They still want to be with you. Their feelings. What do they fear or desire, please? Their feelings. The Hermit Virgo energy. Eight of Wands. They've been thinking about this reconnection with you, about coming towards you. They've been thinking about clearing the path. It's anxious. Eight of Wands with the Nine of Wands. Somebody's like, who's feels distant. They feel like they're on their own. They miss you. They're they're lonely. And they're eager to come in. I feel like this person just wants to burst in the door and take you away. <laughs> Get in that Katy Perry song. Um, <clears throat> it's like they they want to do the right thing. They want to like just say, you know what? Screw it. I quit. I'm done. I'm going to be with my person, my Aquarius. You know, I love them. I want to reconnect with them. Some of them could be looking at a legal contract to figure out how to get out of it. Because, like, some of them, like, let's, for example, like, if your person's in the military, well, they le they legally cannot just up and leave and do what they want to do. No, they're, they're, they're contract, but they have to do it. It's like they don't have a choice. Aquarius energy with the star. They desire you. King of Pentacles. They desire commitment and stability with you. They want to make offers of love to you, romance. Woo, look at that, all that love, all that emotion. Like they want to like, there could be an age difference here for some of you, but they're fantasizing about you, dreaming about you. They feel like you're their fate, you're their destiny. They want to be with you. They want to express all this love to you. They feel very distant from you. Strong emotions, like research needing to be done. Like they're yearning for this opportunity. It's it's killing them to be apart from you like this. Ten of Wands. There, there's a strong intensity, strong desire, strong attraction between you and this person. What potential is some of these obstacles or challenges be? Why is the Ace of Cups here? What is why is this between you? What is any additional messages, please? Interference. Friends, family, co-workers, or karmics getting involved. There's some kind of interference between the connection. Uh, reflecting, thinking back, remembering, nostalgia, going over conversations, you know, in deep reflection about the situation with you. And divine timing, allowing the universe to bring things together. Under the deck is Twin Flame, which says perfect fit, mirroring, similar, unconditional love and devotion. And friendship, clo closeness, love, platonic situation, boundaries, reliable and trustworthy. And then risk. They may have a lot to lose, especially if they're in some kind of contracted situation they physically cannot get out of. They know that in divine time, the two of you will be together, okay? And I'm just getting like a lot of intensity between you and this person. Like you both strongly desire this reconnection to be together again. Like neither one of you want to be apart. You feel the exact same. We had, we had these two side by side under the deck. You both have strong fire in your chart. This could be your twin flame for some of you. I'm not getting like a bunch of negative energy with this person. It's like they're waiting for something to end. They're thinking about the situation, thinking about what the blocks are and how they're going to proceed ahead. Like they're so anxious to come in, like sweep you off your feet kind of thing. Burst in the door and take you away. No more mistakes. Because in your arms, I'd like to stay. That's, I get that, that song's just going through my head for some of you. Wow. Wow. For your stones, guys, I was specifically drawn to rose quartz, um, Larimar, <laughs> and uh, smoky quartz. Some of you may want to look at the properties of these stones or use them in your own meditations. 
yeah i hope this helped you guys thank you so much for watching thank you for liking sharing surprising uh subscribing surprising my goodness <laughs> it's a surprise if this person's gonna just burst in the door maybe they're just coming in unexpectedly uh spirit wanted that word to come out um could be shocking could be a message you don't expect so uh that's what i have for you i so said thank you for all of your support thank you for those of you that send in donations it's truly appreciated as always i'm wishing you strength and many blessings bye-bye